Welcome to Shenzhen. This is the biggest charging square, not of China only, but also of the whole world. We have 637 cars charging here at the same time. This is the BYD part. There's only BYD taxis here, but on the other hand, you also have Baidu and other ones, and private cars can charge here too. The average uh, person stays here about an hour, does about 15 to 20 kilowatt hour. The average speed of a uh, charger is 30, and you also have 40 and 50 kilowatts, so that's about it. And I asked the uh, taxi drivers what they thought of it, and they told me, well, I really love what's happening. I mean, I have to come here one hour a day, and then I can have service for 10 hours, and it's about four times cheaper. I used to have to pay uh, to 200 RMB, 25 euro, for gasoline a day and now it's only six or seven so it's way cheaper and it's cleaner and it's good for the environment and I don't mind because we have a nice place to wait here so they really liked it here when you come in here in the parking spot you see a big line they have to wait a little bit but they have to wait at least 15 minutes what I could see and then they have to wait for an hour to charge but they have massage chairs and they uh, they basically sit on their uh, phone playing around. Let's look at a couple of the charging stations we have available here in this place. So this is a charging station specially made for the taxis. You have huge lines here left and right, hundreds and hundreds. It's just a manicus plug and it's really easy. You come here, you put it in, you scan the QR code. This whole country is just one big gigantic QR country. You scan it and you basically pay with WeChat. Cost of it is about one RMB per kilowatt hour or 0.9 if you come outside the peak hours. And that's way less, four or five times less than gasoline. So the taxi drivers really like it. So it's really click and pay and go away. So as a passenger, you sit like a king here. It's really very comfortable and it's silent. I think as a customer, I would be very happy in this uh, car. So this one looks much nicer. This charger looks a little bit uh, more elegant, more design, and this is made by BYD. So it has a screen, you can see how much the battery is full and there's a little bit better information. So I think um, that's progress. And uh, here we have the Chatomo version, which we know from Japan and from Holland we have them too. And so they charge DC and uh, you can have 50 kilowatt. So let's look at some other, uh, other type of vehicles which they have here because they have a lot of different vehicles, which is fun to see. So what kind of brands do we see here? We have BYD of course, and yeah. then what, we, what else do we have? That's BYD, Volkswagen. I Volkswagen, yeah, yeah. Gillian, yeah, the Rover, 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 yeah, the Briton, Rover, yeah. And uh, what is that? Changhe, yeah, Changhe is uh, another Chinese uh, small one manufacturer. But I would say this is 75% BYD taxis we see here and 25% other ones. Uh, I think most of the company yeah. owned uh, taxis are BYD. Yeah. So this is a special car. Which one is this? Uh, it's a Neo ES8, their yeah. very first uh, electric vehicle. Yeah. Young people especially, yeah. who are trying to uh, experience the Tesla experience, but yeah. without the price. Cost, About half, half price. Half price of the Tesla Model X. Now the Model 3, have you already seen them here? Yeah, there's a more and more available in Shenzhen. Tesla Model 3 yeah. is almost half price of this one. They're very popular for the young people. Okay, I saw it, the biggest charging uh, square in the world. 650 people, and it's really interesting, all the, the culture around here, how they see it. Um, it's, it's big, it's efficient, it works. But I think what would be better is to have smaller places, 30 or 40 charging stations, and then to have them distributed around the world so you don't have to drive here. But everybody seems pretty happy. The taxi drivers are happy, everybody likes it here. It's very gezellig, uh, like we say in the Netherlands. It's cozy.